Hey everyone, Lazy Fire here. Welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Last time we got all the way up to the door. To be inside. This is it. We got all the way up to the door here. There's a witch in there. It's it's a whole thing. She gave us a made us go on a bad trip last time, if you recall. Oh, file explorer. Good file explorer. That's very helpful. Hold on a second here. Oh boy, that was you're just having a lot of real great moments today, I'm telling you. Uh what do we want? Hmm. Why are there two of these? Hmm. We're in that. Sure, let's take Jacob's jacket back. Cool. Wow, playing dress up's hard in this game because everything has bonuses. Okay. Well, that looks bad. I wonder if we're gonna get an explanation. It's her. Always been her. At the margins, in the dark, always there. She, she is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing. And we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. Right. What has she done to them? Hey, that door looks like uh, we'll be using a rope arrow to get through it later. Doesn't. Bravo, team. The missing soldiers. They're here. Take everything that's not bolted down because we're going into a very clear boss battle with an ancient woman who's a witch. And also poison ivy? I don't know. Scarecrow? I'm kind of disappointed at the lack of stuff I have here. I was kind of hoping that there'd be like a bunch of things I could go exploring, but no, it's just kind of a straight Psychotic swim. Psycho. Sorry. Dizzy. No. I need that last antidote. Swim through a psychoactive gas. This is the last of it. You too shall serve me. The idea is basically Baba Yaga. Now, go, go. Is gotta get burned up. So what she'll do is she'll glide around. She'll call in the. Uh, Jeez. 
to call in the uh, four members of Bravo team. And then you have to make this shit happen. Uh, just by popping this open, you hit her, take, she takes damage, and uh, you move on to the next level of your challenge. Come on, Lara, keep it together. Just grab everything. Oh, yeah. That's not good. She's still there. Ah, that was shitty. That was a bad throw on my part. These guys aren't very difficult. They are basically smoke. We all keep going, damn it. So yeah, the the fight in and of itself, once you've gotten the basic concept together, is pretty simple. What? <laughs> All right, Just real quick, I want you to go down the hole, uh, there we go. There we go. Here, it's always good to open up as much of this as you can. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't had to heal yet. Avoided just enough damage for that. I would, as you saw earlier, I tried doing one of these sequences with enemies out and it just didn't go well. Uh, So all you have to do is shoot at her a couple times to keep her from uh, swinging. And she stays down for a while, so it's usually not an issue. Alright. I just like to use the pistol for that, if you're wondering, because it's just that e much easier. Like, it doesn't... I don't want to fire arrows at her at that point because they take a while to wind up. Uh. And I'm paranoid that I'm not going to have access to my, uh, to my uh, assault rifle if I need it, if I start firing. Right um, no, that's a bad idea. Trying to remember where I need to go next. Maybe this is my only option. Oh, it is. You know. this. Well, like climbing while high, no one's ever gotten hurt doing that. The one thing is, you're not going to get any uh, differences in your controls during these sequences. It's really all visual, which is, you know, according to me anyways, it's just totally fine. Now 
this is kind of fun and different. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, floating platforms. Kind of fun. And then, a weighted platform challenge. Not quite. Thankfully, the game is not going to murder you over missing that. Not going to help you either. I don't think you have to go through the same sequence over again. But. Yeah, for the life of me, I cannot remember how to actually get through there faster. Go on, call it! Uh, can't jump. Wonderful. Yes, good. Won't be able to get on any of that because it's too high. Alright, there we go. It takes a little bit of the drama away from the fight, you know? When you have to go do all this stuff a second time. <laughs> Uh, but it was for my screw-up, so I don't feel too, too bad about that fact. Like, can't fault the game for me not timing things properly. But at the same time... Wow. What are you doing? Lara. 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 Motherfucker. Welcome back again. So, um, what happened there is that things are fucked and climbing on that thing uh, isn't effective. You have just completely fucked me, lady. Thanks a lot. Oh, well, at least this works out. And also, I know where the checkpoint is, so I can just use that in the future. So yeah, I think that platform is completely bro- Wait, why did I do that? Maybe the game hates me because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Because why in the world would I fucking go and jump across there again to get back to this thing, which I already have access to because the platforms are goddamn rotating. What the fuck is wrong with me? No thanks. Dammit, you need to keep her away from the road. I missed that because I jumped wrong. Different from the other times I've jumped wrong. Am I invincible during that? Excellent. I am having issues right now. I think that... The weirdness of what has happened to me so far has is just maybe making me a little weird about this. This is not a difficult fight. Get back in your fucking hole. Laura, can you hear me? Bit busy at the moment. Grandpa's awake. He says, he says it's her, Laura. The witch is my grandmother. She's alive. Please, you, you can't. Maybe we can get through to her. We have to try. 
I'll do what I can, but we have to end this, Nadia. Okay. Well, now that I've unfucked myself, so to speak. I don't need really any ammo at the moment. Hey! Oh man! This though. Mm, get over here. A little bit of mobile cover. Oh, hi. Like a small village worth of people, that's fine. Now, coming up here makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Like, I know I'm bad and I deserve to be taunted about that, but Jesus Christ. Let it go. And, yeah, killing these guys from a distance is generally a lot easier than getting up close. Let's see if we can't dodge a <laughs> Hey, there we go. Dodge kill. Haven't done one of those yet. Well, wasn't a kill, but you get the idea. Alright, lady. Calm down. Stop. No more. I know who you are. I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know, but it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Lara, for everything. Dreams thing is a yeah. We're we're gonna have to test that out at some point. Thought I'd give them a little time alone while I look around some more. 
If you're wondering why the phrase look around some more is a thing there, it's because of the fact this way. Check it out. We can actually see what this area looks like uh, when not all witched up. And look, items. Papa Yaga's weapon. It's a scythe, but it's been dressed up to look like a witch's broom. Everything she did served the myth in some way. See, if you're wondering how she was cutting the rope with that instrument she was holding, it's because it was a scythe. But, let's go check this place out real quick. There is like a bunch of stuff here, let me show you. Uh, oh, we can't see it right now because we have to go find the map, but there is like a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, look. So yeah, phase two of the fight was something she plans on. Like, kind of crazy. And then we come up here. This veil is mine. I have watered the ground and cultivated the dreaming blossoms. No one will enter. No one shall leave. I will not endure the outside world any longer. Here at last, I am in control. Excellent. Yes. Good. Hmm. I, I was about to jump into that fucking hole and kill myself by mistake. That would have been bad. I mean, check it out. It's like... They did a pretty good job of dressing this place up. And then after the fact, they, uh... Putting it into this form it is now is kind of great. Uh, we get over here. Some of it I don't understand how it was supposed to work, like these things having edges and all that, but whatever. Not too, too concerned. And the point thing about the fight is that there's like enough of these platforms moving around at any given time that you don't feel like you're stuck waiting for anything ever. Like, it, it feels like it's pretty well always moving. Open that up all the way. Down. In case we need to get back that way. Probably won't be a big deal. I have so much salvage that I cannot salvage. and uh, nuts. It's going to work out for us. Almost full on ammo. Damn. Did not do badly there. It's not a, not a hugely ammo intensive fight by any means, but at the same time, uh, you can miss a bunch of shots. really care about like two areas here um, there are a bunch of things to collect though I mean look at all this shit um, probably not gonna do all that right now yeah. Yeah. I saw a shiny thing I have to go get it Ooh, boar components. We won't see boar for a while now. Actually, now that the DLC's over and we're getting back to the story, we might see one pretty soon. You can see there's a ton of stuff for uh, basically all occasions here. Like, they expected you to build a lot of bombs and throw a lot of stuff, but I just... It's not really useful, against her especially. So yeah, there is like a ton of things to pick up here. 
on all three levels. And there's one area I have never been able to figure out how to get to. It's up there. I think I actually, yeah, I have to come back when I had the grappling hook thing. Um, but once I do that someday... That's why I couldn't get up there. I couldn't remember why I couldn't get up there, just that I couldn't. You know? That's the way to go. Huh. Let's see if Laura can climb this thing now. Yeah, I need to uh, be able to get over there to get all of the documents. So what we'll do is, uh... Oh, hey, look at that. That worked out real well. Let's go back to our fire. And we'll worry about the stuff in here some other day. It'll probably be a roundup video before the end of the LP. Um, but I did want to just show off this area after the fact. Now I don't have legs. There was a revolt, a bomb. The native people, the enemies of my enemies, rose up, striking out as we had always dreamed. Ivan and our daughter might have known freedom, but instead they are dead. Killed by the only people that might have saved us. The Soviet cowards with me in the veil say there is nothing left that we must await rescue. They say they will protect me, but they jump at the dark and supplies run low. There will be no rescue. I will live and my captors will not. Survival is the only truth in this world. They are a superstitious lot. I slip the pollen into their rations and when they are reduced to weeping husks, I will show them a new face, something they have feared since childhood, Baba Yaga. Grandmother Serpent, witch. They will die screaming in terror. They deserve so much worse. If I cannot live free, then I will survive alone, in the shadows, until death reunites me with Ivan and our child. And so, a classic Soviet misinformation campaign takes another family. I'm gonna look around a little longer. Yeah, and we'll be back soon. Uh, where are your grandparents? Hmm. I could have sworn they were actually around here somewhere. Oh well. No big deal. We've done everything we came here to do. Let's hit up the campfire one last time before we leave the veil. Nadia's grandparents, split apart by the Gulag, are reunited. They all have a long and arduous road ahead. Seraphina wore the mask of the witch for so long. I don't know if she will ever be able to fully return to the world. And Yvonne dreamed of killing the witch to get revenge for his lost love, but they were the same woman all along. That wound he nursed for decades won't heal overnight. They're survivors. We all are, but it will be difficult. It will feel impossible some days, I know. At least they'll have a fighting chance now that we know the truth. It may not be enough, but it's a good start. Picked up a couple of skills that you may have seen there. Same inventory upgrades, same inventory upgrades, yep. Weapons, nope, no. Let's do a real quick fast travel. And by real quick, I mean it's going to take like still a solid 20 seconds. I am kind of angry at myself over not realizing why I was being stupid with that missed jump, but whatever. That's fine. Um, but yeah, the DLC itself is actually really strong. It's pretty damned good. Uh, it's a nice microcosm of what the Tomb Raider experience really is, where you've got a bit of combat, you've got 
some storytelling and everything else. Uh, so it feels like it fit very naturally in there as kind of a side mission. If you find any more of those gold coins, I think they're getting suspicious. I may need to vanish on short notice. The two things I wanted were that grenade launcher and uh, the crafting tool. <laughs> I don't have enough for either. Oh, well. So next time, we're going to continue moving through the uh, the gulag over there, the Soviet installation, and uh, hopefully get right through it. We got pretty far in there last time. We've got a couple of new enemies that we're going to meet. And, oh, hold on. You know, while I'm out here... I'm sorry to make you deal with all this, but I'm just... I really want to go and just check this real quick, because otherwise it's, I'm going to forget, and it's going to be a whole thing. And uh, I just want to see if I can finally goddamn read that one fucking monolith. Ow. Whatever. We're good now. There it is. I don't know how... Oh, yeah. I never used the poison arrows. So that was interesting. I'm pressing E to skin so much. Oh, I can't. I can't skin it because I have too many furs. The grammar is a little crude, but I think it's pointing to a hiding spot. Yay! One there. There. Good. How did I miss that strong? I, uh, oh, that's up on top of the hill. That's why. Anyways. So next time, we're going back over here. We're going to go pick up all sorts of stuff. Uh, get through this whole thing. It's going to be great. I'll see everyone then. Bye.